Well, hi there. I'm just going through the preparations for my brew day. And uh, like everybody, I got a recipe in mind. And I want to actually design it so it works with my um, my grandfather. Now, I'm using uh, Graham Wheeler's book here. And I'm looking at the recipe at the back here, which is called Top Dog Stout. If you've got this book, don't go buy the hop schedules uh, because they're wrong. Um, I mean, I think they basically just need to double up the uh, double up the hops, the IBUs for the hops anyway. But uh, if you go by the IBUs which he specifies, which is uh, forty for the the whole recipe, and just stick enough hops in to get get that get that level, you can't go far wrong. Right, um, I want to make it for my grandfather. If I use this method here, which is the old um, Uh, doing the mash turn and then obviously smudging and point out there. Uh, I'll most likely get very high efficiencies and I'll just have it very strong and then that'll knock my um, IBUs out and it'll be out of style and all that crap. So what I have to do is to spark up my uh, beer smith, whack in the figures and do some adjustments. I'm going to show you that because... Um, it's nice to see it every now and again, and I'll quickly go through and show you what process I use. I also will do some uh, water adjustments. Actually, I won't do any water adjustments anymore. Because what I've got profile built into this already in the new beer smith, and all I have to do is to, it actually tells me how much, um, what my, what my, it'll guess how much my acidity of my water is, and it'll just, um, What's the word? Tell me actually how much else did I stick into it? So there we are. I doubt. But this is stout and I live in Bristol. It's quite hard water here. I think I'm going to be getting something like 5.4, maybe about 5.6, which is perfectly fine for, for stouts and stuff. It's We want to emphasise the uh, maltiness of the beer. And um, so I'm not anticipating any adjustments required. I'll just go with what I got. Um, right, I'm going to record the, the desktop now on my machine as I do this. I may actually be able to, um, what's the word, record my voice at the same time as talking. But if I can't, you'll hear me talking over my video, which will be fine. You'll get the same experience maybe. Um, right, let's get cracking and do this is here and I want to do something around a, t a 10 litre recipe uh, this is obviously the uh, from the original book by Gray Wheeler and it's called British Real Ale and what uh, he's got he's I think he's made these done his own grain farm originally but he's got <coughs> three recipes 19 23 litres and 25 litres now I want to have something which is about half a demi on half a um, cordy keg size. So I'm going to go for something like about 12 litres. Um, I wouldn't normally go for 10 litres, but um, there's always a bit of loss. And so I just want to actually have those extra few litres to, to play with. So um, we've got all the vital statistics here. So what I'm going to first do is to uh, fire up Grandfather. Sorry. Beersmith, which is here. I've actually done another recipe there, but I'm going to do it again just for uh, the benefit of you guys. And there it is. Okay, so it's going to be uh, black. Have we got that right? Top dog stout. There we are. Let's get these things wrong. Eh? Okay, so I've got a grain father, but also I've got a 10 litre version of the grain father as well. Uh, with the batch volume um, at 12 and the pre royal volume of 15. <coughs> Obviously, the final bottling volume will be about 10. So we are, it's, it's taken my grain father profile and copied all my settings in, my, my efficiencies and stuff like that. So uh, first thing I do is I'm going to start 
by setting this to a profile which is very similar to what I'm doing, which is stout. Now I know there's a, a sweet stout there, which comes in about the same range as it's about 1050 to the the recipe has uh, got original go up to 1050. So I could go for oatmeal or sweet. Um, or even Irish stout there. But the Irish stout is actually a bit lower, lower than 1050. So <coughs> we'll go for something, go for this one here, which is a good ballpark figure. It gives you an idea. Um, the reason I do this is just a bit of a sanity check because as I build a recipe, I can see all the all the factors actually coming into play, and you know that um, you know that you're on, along the right lines. Okay, so let's add the grain. Let's just quickly slip. So we've got pale malt, typhoid wheat, and chocolate malt. Let's go for pale malt. So we need something. Need a original gravity of about something like. Um, 10.50 for the pound malt. Well, we'll go for it anyway. It's just add grain. Um, actually, I'm going back to this, I can see that 19 liters is uh, 3120 grams. So, what I will do initially is to just half all these these values here. So, so to do now, it's on to. Let me just do uh, 1.5. Uh, Tire fried wheat, which do about 450. And uh, chocolate malts, 0.3, so that'd be 150. Now with my chocolate malt, I, I know it's actually uh, got a higher EBC than that. I think it's actually a thousand EBC, so I'm gonna up that. <clears throat> my pear malt is configured correctly, but I think this is actually four EBC. So I'll up that as well. <coughs> so we look down here, we actually got the original gravity here, which is about right, but it's a little bit low. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to my mash here. I'm going to tell my, my system here what my mash is going to be. So it's going to be 66. It's going to be steep for 60 minutes. And I'm not going to have a rise time. Okay. We go back to the design. Also, there's another, even though that hasn't gone up yet, what this is, it's doing a bit of a best guess on how well the yeast is going to insinuate. <clears throat> so what we can do, we can add our yeast now. Uh, Safael04 I'm using today. Right, so we need to up this a bit. bit. So what I'll do now, I'll just uh, click on here. I'll just change that to 1050. What what Beer Smith will do then, it'll actually factor, factor up all these ingredients here. <coughs> What I'll do is to quickly do a bit of a change. So I'm going to change that back to two kilograms, and which brings us up to about ten fifty two there. Let's just and that's going to be six. So let's do point six on that. Okay, this is going up a bit here. So what we'll do, we'll just bring this back a bit. Uh, let's do one point eight for now. See what happens. Okay, I'll put nine. Eight, just middle that one, eight five. Okay, so we've got ten fifty there. Um, the color is uh, forty eight, which um, oops. So they're talking about an EBC of 1033 there we're looking at ebcs so yeah the color it's not it's well out i don't know what kind of uh, chocolate milk you're using here but it might be more based on the um on the darker recipes as opposed to the uh, well sorry the 
the quantities here, but um, as you can see, it says 133, which is uh, nowhere near what I've got on here. I think this recipe is well screwed. <laughs> But anyway, we've got a color, good color there. I think that's going to be fine. Um, I'm actually doing this in ret 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 retrospect, so I know that the, the beer come out very chocolatey. So you look at the rest of the brew day afterwards, and you can see um, it looks fine. Okay. Um, right, so the next thing we want to do is to work out how much water I'm going to stick in this to mash up. And... Um, I generally go by the um, by the grain varvers, uh, uh, what they're saying. So we've got something like 2.6. I'm going to use a small mash, a small uh, mini mash system, the mini pipe. So I'm going to take these, this grain here and actually transpose that into the, so it's 2.64. So we know our volume is 12. That's uh, two point six four, and well, that's all fine. Okay, so it tells me my mash water should be ten sixty three, and my sparge water should be eight forty eight. Let's just stick these in the notes. Okay, and what I'm going to do is add those two figures together now. Let's get my calculator up. Um, oops. It gives me a total uh, water volume of 19.11. So, what I can do now, I can add. Oh, this recipe's gone. On my recipes here, I can add my water. <coughs> I'm going to use just normal Bristol water today. Um, it does actually need a bit of um, magnesium sulfate, I think it's called, added to it, just, just to bring it up above the, the right levels. Let's have a quick look at the... Um, look, so look, look at the water profile tool here. What I do, I add a gram here of extra salts. And uh, that brings my magnesium, which should be between 10 and 40, up to 14.7. So across the board here, the rest of it's all okay. But um, I haven't actually done any adjustments for um, more multi-grains or anything like that. I'm just doing a very basic, just bringing the water profile so it's about that right. Uh, so... We're going to come back to the recipe at hand. We know which one is this. Uh, yep, this one here. And we're going to add water. <clears throat> we're going to say Bristol water. We're going to add to, uh, 19 litres of that. <clears throat> well, let's just do 19 points. Um, how much do we say? Where would it go? Actually, my calculator. I think it was nineteen point one, wasn't it? So we'll uh, stay there. Let's do nineteen point one of Bristol water. And when I add the water, it actually adds the um, the Epsom salt as well there, which is incorrect. We're just going to do one gram. I think it's factored up per litre. <coughs> So once we've got all these um, all these figures in here, we've got all the uh, we know how well it's going to mash. Ooh, we have one thing we have stuck here actually is the bitterness units. And I'm going to be using my own um, my own hops today, Challenger. But they're leaf, and I think I'm going to have to add about 50 grams of this. But I want to. I'm going to. I'm going to factor because it's. Um, we're looking for a um, an IBU oh, EBU of about 40 I'm going to first thing I'm going to do is factorize my I know I need about 50 grams 
But I'm also going to bring my alpha abscess down to about five because my, my hops aren't quite as bitter as I expect. I'll add that, and as you can see here, it's actually brought the IBUs <coughs> around 40. I just knew that already. Um, so, all looking good. Now, uh, the last little bit, what we need to do is to have a quick look at the at the session here. And because I've added all my, my water my water profile stuff, where are we going? I've got mash, maybe. Ah, there we are. Because I've added all my water profile stuff now, it knows about my the chemical makeup of my water. And then my, my water pH here is normally about 7.5. Um, and there's what my residual alkalinity is. And it can actually guesstimate <clears throat> how much, um, well, I, I reckon my, my, my mash, when I do a mash with that uh, recipe there, it's going to be about 5.73. Uh, <clears throat> so what I could do is to put my, my measured pH here. Well, that's what it reckons it's going to be. I can put my target pH as uh, 7.5.4. And I'm using glycerolic acid, which is about 85%. It tells me here that I need to take about 2, two milliliters of, um, of that acid in <coughs> to get my pH down to about 5.4. Um, so that's what I'll do. When I, um, I'll make my brew, I'll... Um, I'll add maybe about two milliliters. I won't go for 2.1 and I'll just leave it mash for a while and then take a pH reading about 15 to 20 minutes after it's been mashing just to check that it's come down to this 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 uh, area that I'm looking for here. Um, so I can take this, I can say, I can go back to the notes now. I can say I need to stick 2.1 milliliters of acid <clears throat> and that's it that's my design that's my um, <coughs> full recipe actually converted over uh, a few things to note you can see here that the IBUs for this recipe is quite quite high which is fine um, I don't think that's got anything to do with it. It's obviously to the style. And as I said, the colour is quite low, but uh, as you'll see as uh, the rest of this video comes out, it comes out nice and dark. And that's it. I mean, um, and the other things I'd be doing now is to actually come back in here when I do my mash, uh, and I'd be popping my, my figures in here, what my, uh, on the session, I'd be sticking in what my... Uh, my, my measured mash pH was, and I'd also be sticking in my uh, original my gravity before before I started to boil, and how many liters I collected, and that would actually uh, beer smith would actually then go and um, do all the work for me and tell me what my mash efficiency is and all that stuff. Okay, so that's the end of the video. This this little bit of video. Let's go on to the brew day. <coughs> 